a few months ago I filmed a culinary school vlog where I took you guys with me to school and just pretty much explained like brief overview about what I do and the course I take and if you haven't seen that video I highly suggest you do because I did mention a lot of information that some people were curious about and today I'll be filming another one as you may know I am in second year which is diploma level at my school and what that means is that starting from July, I'll be working for an entire year as part of my internship. However, I'll be doing it here in my home country instead of abroad because, you know, COVID. With that being said, today I'll be taking you to school with me, but not to individual pastry class like I did in my last video, but instead to pastry service where we will be making desserts for the school's restaurant and for the guests coming to eat there. It's usually a little bit more hectic, but we'll still manage. And yes, classes are still online. They have been for an entire year. I'll also be answering a ton of questions I got in my last video. Although I did mention a lot of information in my other video if you are interested in becoming a culinary student or you're just curious about my school. So yeah, let's go. So pastry service is usually on a Wednesday for me and we'll be making desserts for dinner, which means we start later than the class who is doing lunch. So for this, I usually get to school at about 1.30 p.m. and service starts at 7.30 p.m., which is usually when the guests come in, but we would finish by around six. Once I get to school, I park my car and I get my temperature checked and then I get changed into my kitchen uniform and I head upstairs into the kitchen. Coincidentally, we are in the same kitchen as the other video I posted. So we have about 10 kitchens in the school, I believe. Five of them are the ones where we usually have individual classes like demonstrations and stuff. Those are called the white, the green, the yellow, the blue and the red kitchen. And then we have the three restaurant kitchens. I don't always mention the third restaurant because that's usually for the foundation level. So it's more like a canteen cafeteria for us, but there's also a kitchen in that. So that's three more kitchens. Two of the restaurants, which are the runway and voyage, have their own pastry kitchen. So that's another two to the list bringing the total up to 10. The two restaurants I have been assigned to during the year have been Voyage and Runway, but for pastry, it happens to be the Runway restaurant. It's just more of a casual dining than the Voyage restaurant, which is a bit more of a fine dining restaurant. So for today, you'll be seeing me preparing desserts for the Runway restaurant. So basically, every restaurant has a weekly menu that they stick to. Every week a new menu comes out and for every day of that particular week the same menu is done. Now as for the two restaurants which are Runway and Voyage, they have the same lunch menu but the prices are different since one is fine dining and one is casual dining. For dinners the menus do change because that's usually when there are higher level students, the more advanced students, the menus would be of a higher level as well. So the prices would also be higher. But pretty much just have an idea, usually for example lunches at the runway are 10 euro and then at the voyage they're 10 on Mondays and 15 on regular days for lunches and then at night for dinners it's usually between 17 to 25 since the menu is much more advanced. My school, ITS, is part of the post-secondary schools. You get in either with your O-levels or GCSEs, although if you don't have any, you'll just have to do an extra year, which is foundation level, where you learn all the basics and knowledge of everything. I don't know how the school system works in America or other places, but here in Europe, every single post-secondary school gets a stipend, so it's like a monthly pay we get, we're pretty much paid to go to school. Depends on the MQF level, which is like the grade of your knowledge. For higher levels, it's more. When I got in, I started in certificate in food preparation and service. We had our theory lectures, whatever. And then we had kitchen twice a week. One where we cook for the guests, so restaurant service, and another one which was individual, pastry and kitchen. And we have service, which is pretty much being a waiter, learning, how to serve people, mix beverages, stuff like that, and the theory lessons to go with it. Then the second year, which is where I am now, we have kitchen three times a week, restaurant service, pastry restaurant service, and individual. First semester is kitchen, second is pastry. Now I have my yearly internship, 
Then after that, I'll be going to H&D, which is Higher National Diploma. Where do you get the recipes? We have three books that we buy ourselves or we could just find them online and our lessons and recipes are all based off of those three books. Anyone can get into this school, it's not that hard. What's hard is actually staying in your course and moving up, which I think is great. Some people think it's a bad thing that anyone can get into this school, but everyone can get in no matter your level of knowledge or capability. People are willing to work with you and to help you expand and gain your knowledge. And that's what I love about this school. Anyone, anyone can get in and you will all be treated equally. And obviously we, they will give you the supplies and knowledge to move on and it depends on you whether or not you want to actually move further on. So yeah, I'm, I'm extremely fortunate, I'm extremely lucky because here in Malta, most schools, I just had to pay for the books and the uniform. I'm really grateful because I've always been wanting to go to this school since I was like in 8th grade, 9th grade, which is form 2, form 3. Can anyone come to our restaurants? Yes, although you need to book at least two weeks before because they are constantly fully booked because of how cheap they are. But that does not mean the quality is cheap. The price is cheap, but the quality is amazing. <laughs> I got this comment so many times, but I already answered it. Which school do I go to? I go to ITS, it's called the Institute of Tourism Studies in Loa, next to the airport in Malta, which is in Europe. Um, there's, I think, over eight courses. So not just mine, there's like tour guiding, events management, tourism. There's a ton of options you can choose from. Basically, you can stop after any year and you'll still get a qualification, but the higher you go, obviously the higher the qualification you'll get. So basically the first year, if you don't have any GCSEs or levels or qualifications, is foundation, which is like the very basic. And then the one I have so far is certificate, which is one year. Then the year I'm currently in, diploma, is considered to be part with the internship. So that's two years. So if I don't finish my internship, then I won't get my diploma. And then there's higher national diploma, which is another year. And then you have the bachelor's degree, which is another two years. And these are all for every specific course. And then there is the master's degree, combines all of the courses together. So that's really extra optional. But if you really want to get your degree in your line of work and the course you're taking, then you'll have to do those six years. So you have the first year certificate, two years, which is diploma and the internship, another year, which is higher national diploma, and then two years, which is the bachelor's. So that's six years to get your degree, which is great if you start off from the age of 16, which you can go get into. I got in from the age of 17, which means if I keep on going, I'll get my degree by age 23. Wow, that sounds crazy. That's in four years. Obviously, my videos are made to look enticing, to make you be like, ooh, I really want to go there and stuff, but it requires a lot of hard work and motivation. So if you like cooking, you'll probably like it, but you're not gonna like the working part because the school is like, makes you feel protected. It's nothing like working in the industry, but on the other hand, school is so much different from that. So you won't tell the difference until you start working. And obviously th these things go together. If you go to culinary school, you'll have to work in the culinary industry while you're at school because it's the only way that you will learn more. You learn the theory, practical stuff, but the real like tips and tricks and efficiency is learned through working. So yeah, most people drop out after about a year or two because they realize it's not what they want or it's too stressful. Another thing you have to purchase is a set of good quality knives. These will rack up to about 100 to 200 depending on the quality, but that's all you need when getting into the school. The books are optional because you can find them online as a PDF or just go to the library. And then the uniform. If you're a female, funnily enough, it costs more because it's fitted. But a brand new uniform cost me about over 100, but then I decided for my second one, I'm gonna buy it second hand just to make sure it isn't stained. That was about 50 euro. They'll ask you to get a chef knife, which is the big one, office knife, a fast peeler, a palette knife, and I think anyways, yeah, that was my come to school with me. Unfortunately, that is going to be my last culinary school vlog for this year because I have finished my diploma level and I am going to be heading into my internship now. I cannot wait to 
experience these new things and of course come back to culinary school but I have to like keep an open mind because this is part of our education it's compulsory really can't wait to film more stuff for you guys I hope you guys enjoyed it as always if you are interested make sure to check out my Instagram at marzi 2 rs 2 ss and my TikTok Mariah M-A-R-R underscore I-A-H even though that is not how you spell my name I post all my cooking videos TikToks on there so make sure you check those out and yeah I'll see you very soon for another video bye guys